10 ways to wear one classy bodycon dress in today's lookbook. Now you might have heard me raving about this dress that I bought recently from COS, so I thought you might enjoy seeing the many different ways I would wear it for this autumn. So firstly, in case you missed it, this dress is knitted using a blend of recycled yarn. It scoops and slides over all the good bits and miraculously avoids all the bad. And to top it all off, it's currently on sale with 50% off. In fact, I love it so much that I've just bought it in the charcoal and I've got the navy on my wish list as well. The one thing I really love about this bodycon dress is although it is fitted, it's not skin tight. It still feels really comfortable to wear and it feels really flattering. It isn't something I would often say about a tight fitting body contrast because I will often feel a little bit conscious that it's sticking to lumps and bumps in all the wrong places but this one doesn't feel like it's doing that. It's smart but it feels up to date and I love all those neutral tones blended together. I'm making use of my lovely knee-high boots that I've got in that gorgeous shade of taupe. I've added those on underneath the dress and I think those two together will be a combination that I will reach for a lot throughout autumn winter. Originally I tried it out with my fitted camel blazer but it felt a little bit too structured to go with this look. But in the end I opted for my Everlane version which is a bit more loose and casual looking. And then finishing with quite a polished structured handbag in that lovely light shade of camel. I had a little play adding in another texture with my cashmere jumper that I've got in that gorgeous tone of camel. It's not the most practical styling I've ever done but I do really really like the look. And annoyingly, although it stays on easier when it's tied in a knot, I think I prefer it left loose and hanging down. Overall it's quite a high-low style. The dress and the clutch feel very polished and elegant, whereas the blazer and the boots feel a bit more slouchy and cool and laid back. I love the juxtaposition of those two styles put together. So a tougher look, obviously, adding my leather jacket over the top. Underneath the leather jacket, actually, I'm wearing this little cropped cardigan that I think I got last winter from Everlane. This one's quite a chunky knit and it's been made from organic cotton, so it's really lovely to wear against your skin. I'm not sure if they've got this exact one on their website at the moment, but I would imagine, as Everlane do, they've probably got a version of it. So just for an added bit of warmth, I added the cardi as well, which obviously you can do as well. Or depending on where you live and how hot it is, you don't have to have a cardigan at all. And then to tie in with the jacket, I added my pointed toe ankle boots that I got recently from Mango. They've proved invaluable actually already in my wardrobe. I seem to be wearing them on repeat with lots of different outfits. They've just got that perfect heel height, you know, high enough to make you feel elevated and nice and tall, but not so high that you couldn't wear them on an everyday basis. So definitely a good find with those. Next up, I went for a bit of a workwear look just to show you that it could absolutely be done with a bodycon dress like this. So keeping it very tailored, I've added my black wool blazer over the top. That instantly elevates the look even more and makes me feel very polished. I absolutely don't think you need to, but I do really like breaking up that block of beige and adding that black belt to define my waist. It gives it a different edge, takes it on a different train of thought, but at least you know you've got two different options with this kind of workwear look. This time on my feet, I opted for loafers. I do love my loafers, I find them ridiculously comfy, and certainly for workwear, if I'm heading down to London, I've got meetings, I do not want to be wearing anything high heel on the tube, it's a nightmare. It's nice to see that something very flat, very minimal, and probably something you've all got something similar in your wardrobe, would work nicely with this dress. Keeping it very classy and simple and minimal, I opted for my classic handbag again. And overall, I think not only is it something you could absolutely wear to the office, but when you take that jacket off, I think it will easily transfer to night as well. Back to autumn again for this lookbook, but I wanted to share with you all how I would dress this up a little bit for the evening. So this time I really wanted to draw the eye to the waist even more. So I've added my tan leather belt that I got from Suzanne. Now that's quite a big belt, it's quite a statement piece, and I think it would work equally well if you wanted to go with something more subtle. Now these high sandals were just about to be put into the attic to wait for another summer, but before they went away for the season, I thought I could get another outfit idea out of them. The tan on those sandals works really nicely on the belt, and because they're a slightly chunkier high sandal, it brings in a little bit more of a Parisian vibe to the whole look. I think the coat would definitely be a necessity in England throughout autumn winter, but I couldn't decide which I prefer, either wearing it slightly off the shoulders but with my arms in the sleeves, or just draped over my shoulders instead, which I know isn't hugely practical because it falls off, 
but it does look really chic. Do let me know actually in the comment section below if you tend to wear your winter coats like that or perhaps you find it hugely impractical and you just like to wear the coat as it's been designed. Either way, as a whole, I think it's a really effortlessly chic outfit. It feels very elegant, it feels understated, it feels a little bit sexy. It's definitely my cup of tea. Next, I wanted to keep the dress pretty elegant still. So I kept those little kitten heels on my feet. But to make it work for autumn and that colder weather, which I'm definitely feeling today, I've added this lovely organic cotton jumper over the top. You could obviously switch out those heels for flats or loafers, but I think that very idea of keeping it very tonal and just adding a jumper over the top of the dress is certainly a way which I will probably be wearing it a lot. Ow! I don't know what happened there. I think I got my legs crossed so tightly that I couldn't uncross them to get down to the floor, so I just fell. That was really elegant, wasn't it? This next look, I was kind of thinking random heat wave in October. Wishful thinking, I know. But for those days when it's a little bit warmer, I would style it something like this. So as you can see, I've layered over the top my blue organic cotton shirt that I got from Arquette. I got this one in a 36 and it's still pretty oversized. For me, nicely so, but if you don't want it quite so wide fitting, I would say possibly size down. Personally, really like it oversized. I often wear it out, but it also gives me the option of tying it in a knot at the waistband or tucking it in, doing a big up and over technical term that up and over. So in this look I've tied it quite tight and quite high up on my waistband just to really accentuate my waist and let that dress fall really nicely over my hip. A little bit of extra elongation I went for my pointed toe flats. These ones are in a really neutral taupe tone. Again I got this from Everlane but they're like one of their classic bestseller pieces so I often see them in stock. So keeping it really light and neutral, I finished this look with my Le Cabas tote that I got in taupe. It's a very classy and elegant look that I'm imagining anybody can recreate whatever shirt you might have in your own wardrobe. So next up in this lookbook, as you can see, I've paired it with this lovely striped jumper. Now this is actually new in my wardrobe. Um, I was mentioning last week how I was looking for a new striped one. This isn't the one that I'd set my heart on, that one's still saying coming soon, but I found this one along the way. Now this is actually from the men's section at Gap. Now bear with me, there's a method to my madness. Shopping in the men's section, particularly if you're looking for that oversized fit, is always a really good idea. Because naturally they just have that oversized shape, quite a wide boxy fit across the tummy, and then that drop seam over the shoulder. To make it feel even more oversized, I also went for it in a medium. And I think paired with this dress, with those little ankle boots on my feet, is probably my favorite outfit. But do let me know in the comment section which is your favorite. But it's also very comfy and understated and a little bit French. And all those elements together make it feel very much my own personal style. So this time I wanted to try out what it would look like with tights underneath this dress. I was worried that you might see the seams, particularly on the tummy, but actually it worked fine, so that's another bonus really. Once it gets even colder, I know that I'm not limited to how many different outfit ideas I can make because I can just add a pair of tights underneath. 10 ways to wear this classy bodycon dress wouldn't be right if I didn't include at least one camel toned outfit. It's quite probably my favorite shade, so when I spotted this one also at Gap, I couldn't help but add it to basket. Now this one has been made from a blend of cotton and the sustainable fabric content tensile. You don't often see tensile in knitwear, so I thought that was quite unusual, but lovely to see. And it feels really soft to the touch, really nice to wear. The other point of difference with this particular jumper is that I sized up to a medium. I looked at the picture on the website on the model and it looked like it was just sitting right on the hip bone, but I wanted it to fall just a little bit longer than the hip and also be a bit wider around the tummy. So it had that look of a really cozy autumn jumper that you can imagine snuggling up with on the sofa. So it was lovely to introduce a bit of camel tones with that beige. They obviously work really nicely as two different shades together. As this jumper is a tiny bit big for me, plus the fact that it's a v-neck, enables it to sort of slip just gently over your shoulder. And that adds just a tiny bit of sexiness, but in a really understated way. So to contrast that sexiness, I went for cute and dainty on my feet 
with my lovely valley flats that I bought from Flattered. I love the bow detail on those, I think they're so pretty and really original and though I mostly wear them with my jeans and I do a little turn up, but I think they work equally well with this dress so I'm very happy to have another few combinations to wear them with. Then I decided to go tonal again, but this time even more relaxed than before. So I added this beautiful cardigan that I equally got from Coz recently. I think I'm having a bit of a moment with Coz of late, but I just love their new collection. I think there's some really, really beautiful pieces in there. So adding this cardigan over the top instantly makes that dress feel more laid back and casual, but it still feels very timeless and sophisticated, and I still feel like me. Rather than leave it loose, which you've seen from me before, I this time decided to do one of the buttons up, which I do think changes the look somewhat, and it ends up really elongating the whole look. And to accentuate that even more, I opted for my very light taupe toned <laughs> loafers on my feet and it just keeps that line running all the way down it feels really elegant and then tying in that tone from my shoes I opted for my Le Cabas tote from Palen Paris which is almost a perfect match so it'd be rude not to pair those two together I think when you're wearing all these beautiful knits all those lovely luxe layers it instantly makes your outfits feel elevated from the start but because these ones are so affordable for the quality you're getting it does feel extra sweet now for this last look, I actually had planned something completely different, but I realized I needed to leave for the school run, so I threw my jumper on, added my trainers, and headed out the door. And when I came back, I looked in the mirror and thought, oh, actually, I really like that look. And before you say it, I know this isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but personally, I kind of like that sort of haphazard way of dressing. It quite literally throw it together and then really quite like it. So funnily enough, this is actually another item that I got from Coz, but I bought this one last winter. This jumper is made from a blend of alpaca and I just love it. I wore it loads actually and intend to do so this winter as well. I think the joy with this one is that really high neck which I often actually tie my hair up out of the way because then you really get the most out of that roll neck and it doesn't feel too swamped at the top. And then to the trainers which have had an awful lot of wear. They do look like they've had an awful lot of wear as well. I still love them so I wear them a lot. They've got a tiny bit of navy in them so I felt that that was picking out that tone from my jumper and then I just threw on my tan leather tote to finish. It's one of those looks that shouldn't work together but I think it really does but do let me know in the comment section if you agree. And that's it, 10 ways to wear this beautiful classy bodycon dress that I totally fell in love with. I really hope you found this video helpful and you've gleaned lots of outfit ideas and inspiration how you could make lots of different outfits from one bodycon dress. Don't forget to let me know in the comments section below your favourite outfit idea I've shared with you today. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be lovely too. I will be back next week with tons more outfit ideas and hopefully no more falling off my chair. See you then.